Element opens. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Bet, raise, re-raise. Hmm. You kind of expect him to bet 7-8 on the turn a lot. He could have a lower straight. He could have tried to check raise a hand like 7-8 of spades or something. Um, okay. This is just a very, very clear call. Stacks are relatively deep. He's probably not going to get an ace queen anyway. And keeping the fish in is just really unbelievably important. I dominate a lot of his calling range. If I fall a pair, decent chance I stack him. Um, I guess Jungleman was just bluffing. He could have had like 5-6. It's hard to say, really. Hmm. This is great to be a semi-interesting hand. Similar to a hand I... My buddy told me he played actually in uh, the 5k shootout today against John Duffy, where John Duffy three bet preflop and then bet three streets and bet the river small and ended up just having the bottom set that he like bombed preflop with pocket sevens. John Duffy's a gangster though. Um, yep, pretty easy call here. Not really much else to say. I think that. He folds all his bluffs. I can't get him to re-bluff. He doesn't have a lot of worse value hands. I don't really, I'm not really stoked to get it in. He checks. I'm going to bet 20. What am I going to bet? I'm going to bet 27. 50. Again, a spot I assume he never really shoves. Um, I'm going to be very confused if he does. Seems like it would be a fold. It's kind of the bottom of my betting range. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very interesting. Seems like Ace King with the Ace of Hearts is a decently likely hand for him. It seems like for him to check all the turn, he's going to have a pair of pause of false draw a lot. Um, on the other hand, nah, it's just a check. I'm going to lose like Ace 10 sometimes. That's going to be kind of annoying. Ooh. He tried to trick me. I think I think our both our plays is pretty standard there. Um. Yeah. His turn bet just looks so unbelievably strong. He stacks a lot of the hands that he uh, stacks by betting by checking anyway. Like I'm definitely I have to go bet bet with a flush. As it was, I almost turned this into a bluff. Um. I mean, I didn't really almost do it. I just had to piece it out that he uh, that he wasn't going to fold the river a lot. Uh, anywho, let's see if there's some other games running. Oh, cool. There are some other games running. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stack set up pretty good on the river, I think. I think maybe I should bet smaller on the turn because I'm aiming to get called by pair plus draw hands. I could also check just because... Hmm. The problem is, if he has a lot of one heart hands, giving a free card to a hand with that many outs when the pot is that big is kind of annoying. Uh, and if he calls with worse hands some of the time, which he presumably would, I think my, I think my bet's good. Blank rivers, I was definitely going to check. Which wouldn't really make sense to shove. Um, I guess I would... It's easy to say in retrospect, but I think I would check a king as well. Just because... The the hands that I'm looking to get called by on the turn, those ace-queen, ace-ten, maybe like queen-jack, one-heart hands. I don't think they're very likely because of preflop, but work with me here. Um... Those aren't going to call the river on a king. There's just no bluffs you can put me on, really. I have to have turned some sort of pair into a bluff that I call on the flop. 
which I think is flop bet. It's not like super strong or anything, but I think it's strong enough that calling with 6-7 suited would be bad. At least randomized by calling with like jack-9 suited, where you have better equity against straight draws and stuff. Unless it's something situational, I think. Um, my flop calling range there is relatively tight. You might not know that, though, so. Um, all right. Just going to call two to one in position. Don't feel like three betting. Yada, yada, yada. Easy call. No sense in raising and folding out. Um, all the hand, or I mean, I, I guess there is some rationale to raise with a hand like this. I don't think it's best though. It's a board he thinks I could be bluffing a lot. So there's the chance I get rebluffed. There's a chance that uh, he plays draws pretty quick. Um, just gonna bet here. He'll call with like some ace high draws and stuff. Also, not give, giving a free card to some hands is bad. It's a little weird though because a lot of the hands I'm trying to get him to fold are hands that I think that um I mean given what we saw I'm just gonna check her is this just seems like the appropriate play kind of small more likely he spews to it um yeah I guess that makes sense for him It is different because on the other hand he was the donker, but still he's been playing a lot of hands. I feel okay about it. Hmm. I mean, once you get the vibe that the guy's not a folder, his range is real wide. I think him rebluffing me there, there's definitely a chance that, that occurs, or him just like jamming with king seven suited. I'm happy with my with my play there. Definitely close though. Uh, yeah. would call with a decent amount of hands there because this guy is likely to call behind and also since jungle man and i are so deep i'm not gonna four bat hands like jacks tens nines so i can rep some relatively strong bluff catchers on most boards Easy call here. Um, don't like through betting this hand at all, really. Just plays good in a single race pot. Makes a, a lot of decent pairs and draws and stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to raise this flop. Mm. I don't really like it when he bets small because I think it's more likely he's inducing. But it was, it was my plan and I'm just not going to get deterred from it. If he calls, though, I likely will give up on most cards. Depends, though. It's kind of the thing where if I think that he's betting a lot of uh, inducing hands with that size, once he calls, it's unlikely that he then folds. Because once he's induced my bluff, he's a good enough player to know that um, he's not going to then fold at that point. This isn't like 100% certainty because he could just have a hand like pocket eights and have misclicked and met but at 166 or any number of things um there's a lot of possibilities but even um even the hand like that he might not full turn uh one thing is that he probably would three bet sats on the flop maybe raise the turn with them so by the time he gets to the river it's more weak bluff catchers 